I have all of my parts here for the truck. We just got the Ram finished up. I did not think it was gonna look this good. We're gonna try it today. This truck is just beautiful. It's the perfect setup to me. This is what I want. This is my truck. I don't know what's going on with the weather in Georgia right now, but I'm definitely not happy about it. It was like 36 degrees when I woke up this morning to go leave the house. And like I said, I'm not happy about it. I left last night at seven o'clock and Brandon had started this lift kit. And to be honest, it looks like he's done with it already. We got a seven inch max track going on this Ram 1500 with the green calipers. Green brake pads, hell yeah. I'm pretty excited to see this one done. Shout out to this guy, I know he watches the channel. It'll be done here in a little bit. This, like I said, he started this last night. It will be done later on today. I'm pretty excited to see this one. He's got some 22s and some 35s going on this thing. That'll be pretty cool today. For those of you that didn't see the video yesterday, I have all of my parts here for the truck. So I've got two new CV axles, inner outer tie rods, my bearing kit and my new gear kit. So all of the parts here all of the parts are here to fix the silver truck. Really, we're just at a point now to where I'm waiting to get it fixed. That's really all I'm waiting on now. So I'm gonna call the people today and see where I'm at on the list to get it fixed. But uh, we're, we're within two weeks of having the, having the bow tie back on the road. That's gonna be, that's gonna be big. I mean, I'm, I'm really excited to be able to drive. It's, it's crazy. Nothing big is getting done to the truck by the time it comes back. I'm working on some new wheels and tires right now. Obviously, my goal is to lift the Tahoe this year. I'm, you know, putting that out there, making that, you know, putting it into existence so we can make that happen. But it's just, I don't know. It seems like it seems like social media, Instagram, everything has just been on a standstill since the bow tie has been gone. You know, this has not left the premises of this shop in over a month. And it just it just feels like something's missing. So we got we got to make sure to, to keep that on a priority list and get get that back on the road. just got the ram finished up ram turned out really freaking good to be honest i'm pretty excited i did not think it was going to look this good i'm gonna be 100% honest with you let me show you guys the wheels on the truck so we got some tis i believe they're 548s and we don't do a lot of the 548s everybody has the 544s so i'm really excited that you know customer decided to go with a different wheel we got some 35 1250 the Venom Power RT Pluses. Super cool, super cool. We just put a Max Track 7 inch on this truck. Really a beautiful truck. Love the black. I think the wheels go really good with this truck. It's just got a great stance to it, to be honest with you. That 6 inch kit with the 12 and a half wide tires, a little bit of offset, 24s, 24 by 12. Nothing crazy, but man, that really did turn out really well. I think it looked pretty good. And then, so this uh, AT4 came in today. We did a little little leveling kit on it with some 33 1250s. So this is the Toyo version of that tire, Toyo RT. So you can see we got the Toyo RT. And then Ven Venom's version of that tire, the Venom Power RT. Pretty, pretty similar in design. This is the closest you can get to that Ridge Grappler or that Toyo RT. And then we finished this up yesterday. We didn't do the lift or anything on it. We did a little bit of maintenance to it, but we got this big Cummins out here. This was at the Toys, not Toys for Tot Show. Dang, I'm losing my mind. The HB Rollins show last weekend. Got King Coilovers or King Shocks all the way around. It's got this uh, almost color shift powder coat on all the axles. Chrome suspension, chrome springs. Some big 26 inch RBPs. It's a beautiful truck. Big white. Makes the rest of them look small, huh? And then you got the old bow tie sitting over here. B 
People give me crap in the comments about parking in the handicap spot. It's not even really a handicap spot. There's no sign or anything. Paint's just still there. Obviously, I would move if I needed to. But hell, that ram turned out pretty good. It sounds pretty good, too. I'll have to grab the key so you guys can hear it. This has been sitting behind my desk for about three weeks. We're gonna try it today. You guys have seen me eat the wrap snacks on YouTube. Now it's time to do the wrap snacks. Creamy chicken gumbo flavored ramen noodles. So let's try it out. I'm gonna pop, pop the top. Pop the top, y'all up. Pop the top. What the hell, is that a pea? I think it's a pea. What's that? Carrots and some other shit. We're gonna throw some water in it. See how this goes. I'm excited. Are you excited? I hope so. Hold the hold the whole cup. Yeah. I'm gonna put some water in it. You just like this is weird. Do you go down with it? Ah. Oh. There's the brilliance. Whoa. Microwave, microwave. Ta-da. Look, it's already like cooking. What do you think? Put it in there for like a minute? We're not even using the instructions. You can probably eat it like that. It looks like it's softening it up already. I'm gonna give it a minute. Throw it in there for a minute. Un minuto. Un minuto. Shit, it's like caught. God damn it, Jake. All right, we'll be back. There's not a lot of noodles in here, though. Tastes like ramen. I mean, it was decent, but not. How you doing? Good. Not life changing. Me and Thomas and Nick pulled up, trying to film a video today at the thrift shop, pawn shop, and they're both closed. Closed at six. It's freaking ridiculous. There was a really big Cummins over there at the gas station, though. I should have filmed it while I was over there, but I was being actually it's still sitting there. Look, hold on. That truck absolutely towered over there. Can you see it? That's about a 12 or 14. Look how far in this camera can see that Cummins, though. Oh, wow. Got fuel wheels, Fury tires. <laughs> there it is. Oh. Jimmy pulled up today. God damn. Damn, Jimmy, you done curb one of these wheels. I'm just kidding. FTS upper control arms. Damn. Get the new hitch on? Yeah. That new hitch back there, Jimmy, shitting on him. My boy, tire shined the spare. Tire shined the spare. My man is shitting on them. Absolutely. 
Follow my guy, Candy Chevy. I like that red bow tie, damn. I actually really like that. That's a great little accent. That looks really good. I'm super jealous today because the, the, the truck to me. So you guys know I can't drive my truck. I, I've talked about it all day long. I never stopped talking about it. And I, I want a certain look for my truck. You know, I want 24s, I want 375s, the whole deal. I want to lift a Tahoe. And a buddy of mine came by. It's the first time I've ever seen this truck and I'm, I'm really, really excited to be able to see this today. Uh, a buddy of mine came through and showed me what my truck could be. And you guys can see it. It's the, th it's the thumbnail for a reason. He showed me what it could be. 375s, 24 by 14s, American forces, negative, negative 90 offset. That's, that's crazy. And I'm, I'm just beside myself because one, I can't drive it. So it hurts already. But two, this truck is just beautiful. It's the perfect setup to me. This is what I want. This is my truck. I mean, literally it's, it's, is this an LT or LTZ? LT. It's an LT. Literally it's, it's my truck. It just a couple different things. We got the tow mirrors, same front end, same headlights, same everything. He's got the nine inch McGoy's lift kit. Obviously got to show some love to my boys over there at McGoy's. Always, always coming through with the best products. We got some 24 by 14 American forces. I'm not sure which American force it is. Are these the octanes? You can't think just cause I'm asking you. Yeah. <laughs> You're all right. We got the chrome spike lugs. Always a fan of the spike lugs. Man, these, this truck is super clean though. Daily driver, and it's one of the cleanest I've seen. I mean, there's not a freaking speck of dirt. And he's, and he's telling me on the way over here, man, there's pollen all over it. No, come on. Look at the shine in the sun. 375, 40, 24s. Can you guys imagine this on the Tahoe? Imagine the Tahoe. Nine inch lift. Quantum. American Force Quantum. Nine inch lift on the Tahoe with some 24 14s and 375s. I just, I really, I really think that's, that's the perfect look. That's, that's exactly what I want to go for. It's the first time on the channel I've ever been able to show you guys what the dream is. Except we want red wheels. I'm thinking red lift kit, you know, a couple different things. But I mean, he's even got the, uh, the front torsion bars like I want or tr front traction bars, whatever the hell you want to call it. There's always different names for it. But man, that thing is super clean. Cognito upper control arms. I'm telling you, I'm jealous. You can't tell me that this isn't this isn't the move right here. For those of you that could never see the vision, this is it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I think it's, it's definitely the move. I appreciate you coming through too. You definitely, that's, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, made my day today. Made my day. Oh, it sounds pretty good too. It sounds maybe like a Corsa or something. Damn, that's it right there. Beautiful.